everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is the sixth and final episode in our How to Build a Website with Pipso and Gecko Team tutorials. In previous five episodes, we touched upon everything from installing the WordPress and configuring it, then installing a Gecko Team, installing Pipso and additional plugins, and we ended up with a site like this. If you're interested to see the entire process, please go and, va and watch the previous five episodes. And in this one, we are going to focus all of our attention on installing a third-party integration. And for this specific video, we are going to take a MyCred plugin as an example. What exactly is MyCred? Well, it's a points management system where you can award a certain number of points to the user when they perform a certain action. For example, in Pipso, you can award the points when someone creates a new post or changes the avatar image, and you can remove those points once they decide to delete the post or delete the avatar image. It's very simple. So let me show you how to set it all up. To start, we are going to have to install two plugins. One is the base plugin, actual MyCred plugin, and the second is integration plugin. And you can go to Pipso installer, wait for your license to be checked, and then scroll a little bit down and you will see the integration MyCred plugin available over here. If you install only the integration plugin without the base plugin, there will be an error once you activate this plugin. And I'm going to show you exactly how that error is going to load now that plugin is activated. Let's go to the dashboard and you will see that Pipso requires my thread, this version number, to be installed and activated to run Pipso integration my thread. And this is simply because through installer, we installed the integration plugin, but on our site, there is no base plugin to integrate with. All right, I hope that made sense. Similarly, as we don't provide the entire WooCommerce for WooCommerce integration, normally you will have to install the WooCommerce first and then enable integration. Similarly to that, you first install, first have to install MyThread and then enable the integration plugin. And you can install MyCred on many different ways. You can go back to the website I showed earlier and download from there, or you can simply go to Plugins, Add New, and then search for MyCred. Look for it, and then Install Now. Once installed, activate the plugin, and the error message should be gone. MyCred will now ask you if you want to uh, receive the future update notifications and, uh, nonsense, and send non-sensitive diagnostic tra tracking data. I usually skip this. And now MyCred wants us to set up very low level and basic settings. Uh, at this point, we are still not touching anything in the Pipso integration with the plugin. All of these settings are, uh, are my cred settings. And I strongly suggest for you to go through every single one of them. But for the purposes of this video, the default settings will do just fine. What we are more interested in is going to Pipso than configuration. And there's a new setting over here for MyCred. Enable this in order to show the MyCred points history in the profile page. Save the settings and then go to points just under MyCred. Points and then hooks. Scroll down a little bit until you find Pipso and add hook. In this hoots, you can decide how many points to award for 
creating a new pipso post. So let's say I want to give 45 points for this action for whatever reason. And I want to reduce 45 points when the post is deleted. Okay, so let's see how that works. Save it. And once it is, go to any profile or your profile and create a post. Let's do the test post. Save it. Now refresh the page because uh, this is on the my thread side and it's not automatic when uh, when post is created but as you can see the 45 points were awarded and if i go to my profile and then points i can see the entire history of the points here it is 45 points for new post likewise we decided to deduce 45 points when the post is deleted. So if I go back to the community, find my post and delete it. Once I refresh the page, the 45 points have been deduced for, from my account. And you can check that by going into your profile then points and you will see that in the log now let's come back to the hoots for a little while and see what is available so points for new pipso message for pipso message deletion points for a new pipso comment comment deletion for likes unlikes New pips of friend, new pips of friend deletion, points for add new pips of stream photo, stream photo, profile cover, profile avatar, and that's it. My thread plugin is huge as it is, and it's simply impossible for me to teach you how to use it in a one short video. But the purpose of this video was not to teach you how to use my thread, but to show you how to install the third party and then integration for it. If you remember, at the very beginning, we went to Pipso installer and then only installed the integration plugin without the base plugin, which is the actual MyThread plugin. And when we installed this, we got the error message saying that base plugin is required. All right. So that will happen for all third-party plugins. If I install WebOS right now, uh, WP Event Manager, it will ask me for my for the base plugin in order to work. All right, and with that, I'm going to wrap up this six-episode-long tutorial about how to install and configure WordPress, then Pipso, Gecko, and eventually finish up with uh, installing the third party plugin if you like this video give us a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and hit that bell notification icon to be notified whenever a new video comes out don't forget to follow us on social media as well links will be in the description below until the next video i wish you all the best with your websites bye